Miss Marvelous needs a friend. Mr. Marvelous was the most amazing superhero in the galaxy. He could fly around the world in less than a minute. He could hear the heartbeat of a mouse a mile away. He could even sleep under water, and he drew the most awesome parties. Mr. Marvelous and his shy kick, boy brilliance, was sipping shake at one of his parties. Come on, Marvelous, these people can't all be your friends," said Boy Brilliance. "It takes time to build friendships. You have to visit people when they're shaking and call them on their birthdays." Mr. Marvelous laughed. Why go through all that trouble when you can just do this? He snapped his finger and confounded fell from above the creature. "Please, everybody love me," he said. Breaking news got across the TV. She just in an Archman read. Super villain Shalon had escaped from persecution. He was returned on Mr. Marvelous. The superhero will capture him. Dread! Cried Mr. Marvelous. What a rotten time for me to have a broken arm. Why not ask a friend to help you capture Cylon? This boy brilliance. After all, that's one friend on the part. Good idea. Said Mr. Marvelous. But when he looked around, the room was empty. No one wanted to stay and help Mr. Marvelous. I called last bells. Said Mr. Marvelous. He's a target cowboy superhero. Around, he picked up the phone. Hey, bells. Said Mr. Marvelous. Silence is giving me trouble. Can you help? Sorry, I can't. Said Bill. I'm working on my moon lassos. Can you call out some on else? Mister Musco took a break from French pressing giant red goods to take the call. Oh, sorry, Marus," says Mister Musco. "I can't. I'm just a superhero games. I don't want to risk getting injured. Hey, what is your next party?" Mister Marvelous called everyone he knew. They were all busy. I could have your fire sale on my muff from. Now, who's that hell? Said the windbreaker. Mister Marvelous hung up the phone and shook his head. He remembered what Bob Brilliant had said about his friendship. He looked at his calendar to see if he had written my birth any birthday down. There was no birthday on his calendar. If you don't take care of your friends, you can't expect them to take care of you," Mr. Marvelous said to himself. He could change the assholes as he took care of silence. To be continued.